So in my last video we were talking about area and you, how you can just count the blocks to find the area. Um, but this time it's going to talk about our formula. Um, our formula for area is area equals length times width. Okay, so A times A equals L times W, length times width. So you're going to have, this time we're going to have an actual unit. And in my last video we did it, so we called everything a square unit. Um, this time I'm going to use either inches, centimeters, yards, feet, etc. And um, we're going to actually call it a square centimeter or a square yard or a square foot. Okay, so um, let's start by doing a square. Now I know that a square has four equal sides, and we're going to pretend like I'm drawing four equal sides because I'm doing this freehanded. So if I know the length of one side, I know the length of all sides. sides. So let's say that I know the length of this side is 4 inches. So if this side is 4 inches, that means that all the other three sides are also 4 inches. So using our um, area formula, area equals length times width, I would say area equals 4 times 4 because all of those sides are equal. So if I know that, 4 times 4 equals 16. Okay, so the area, and remember that's the amount of space something takes up, for this is 16 square inches. And we can abbreviate that with IN instead of saying inches. So that's how you would find the area of a square by multiplying. Okay, so now let's take this same formula. find the area of a rectangle. Alright, so let's say that my rectangle looks like this. Uh, this would be two, let's say this is two centimeters. And this is eight centimeters. Okay, so I know that length is up and down on a 2D shape and width is side to side on a 2D shape. So my length is two and my width is 8, so 2 times 8, and I know that 2 times 8 equals 16. And this time, instead of inches, it's centimeters because it tells us right here that we're using centimeters. So this would be 16 squared centimeters, or centimeters squared. 